It was 1966 when a 15-year-old Kathy Campbell rode her first motorcycle. It was her brother's 50cc minibike, kept in the shed at the family home in Maryland. I'd wait until my parents left for church on Sunday, then I'd borrow my brother's bike and run down to the woods to have a little fun. Then I'd have to race back before my parents got home. Her parents never knew that, or the story of when she bought her first motorcycle, a 1969 Yamaha XS 650 street bike. That was the year she turned 20. It was during a motorcycle maintenance course where she met the love of her life, Wolfgang Cruz. Wolfgang was the teacher of the course, and as an avid off-road enthusiast, he had already started his log trophy collection from the Corduroy Enduro. With Wolfgang in her sights, Kathy quickly traded her street bike in for a 1971 Honda SL125. The two of them made a great team and started traveling together to off-road events. We went to quite a few events at a little circuit in Jersey, Kathy says, before they headed to the first cord together in 1973. I expected the cord to be longer and harder, Kathy says, in comparison to some of the events she rode in New Jersey. My goal was always to tough it out to get to the finish. And Kathy is one person that knows how to tough it out. She finished the corduroy enduro a remarkable 10 times from 1973 to 1982. I wasn't always the fastest rider, she says, but I was consistent. Kathy's cord highlights speak the loudest. First place in the 125 senior class in 1976. Fourth place, 125 expert class, 1978. Fifth place, 200 expert class, 1979. She recalls the cord events as being incredibly tough in those days. There were no resets and no lunch breaks. We just kept going at a 24 mile an hour average straight through. With challenges like the 30 mile long Peterson Trail section, Kathy remembers, sometimes getting to the finish was the accomplishment, even if it was over my hour. Kathy faced many challenges during the 10 consecutive years she rode the cord, including one that resulted in having a beaver pond named after her, the Kathy Campbell swimming hole. You couldn't see where to go because the bridge was submerged, she remembers. The result was Kathy and her bike in water over five feet deep. It was after a serious rainstorm, and one of the check crews had to row in by boat. It was dark by the time I got out of the woods that year. It was now 1983, and Kathy, riding a Kawasaki-sponsored KDX 175, was looking forward to her 11th consecutive corduroy enduro. But sadly, during the moonshine enduro in Pennsylvania, with only a few miles to go, a rider decided to turn around and ride backwards on the course. He and Kathy met head-on. I spent three months in the hospital, then another three years recovering before I ever rode again, Kathy says. Kathy did eventually ride in Juro's again, but says I was a different rider at that point. She competed until 2001 when she retired. Today, Kathy and Wolfgang ride occasionally. I still have my 1989 KDX. I ride a couple times a year, usually to pull arrows at local events. But just like her brother's 50cc minibike that started it all, she says, if it wasn't for pulling arrows at local events, the bike would just sit in the shed. The Kathy Campbell Award, Inspiring Women to Ride the Corduroy. Riding under blue skies, nothing's gonna bring me down. Riding under blue skies, crack the throttle, feel the wind blowing in my face. been a long day under the blue skies it's been a fun day in the cold 